हेलो नमस्ते आदाब सतम वनकम एंड खम्मा घनी टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास एंड एज यू ऑल नो दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल सेशन दिस इज अ स्ट्रेटजी सेशन इफ आई वुड मस्ट से दिस इज अ स्ट्रेटजी सेशन एंड द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज सिक्सटी डेज स्ट्रेटजी फॉर आई सी एस सी टेंथ एंड दैट टू फॉर द टॉपिक मैथ्स राइट आई नो देर आर सिक्सटी डेज लेफ्ट लाइक वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग ऑन रफली टू मंथ्स राइट रफली two months we are counting for your examination to start so the preparation that the strategy is going to be for 60 days and it is going to help you all and uh, i will tell you how do you can how can you complete your revision your whole syllabus and uh, how much time you should dedicate to uh, uh, how much time you should dedicate every day and what the spot strategy you should follow all that we are going to discuss in detail so let us start the part to so, be first thing first as you all know that icsc 10th many students are very uh, afraid of this part because this is the first time you are all are giving board examination so there is a fear and i understand that yes it is good to have this fear and until and unless this fear is not making you lose your faith have faith take a brief deep breath relax for once and just think that it is just an examination there is going to be many examinations like this and you are going to come out of it every time so have that determination uh, and go with a positive mindset and start this journey with a positive mindset so first thing i would like all of you to keep calm take a deep breath and start with a positive mind this is the first thing which i want from all of you the second thing which i want to tell you is that this strategy is going to be for your whole syllabus okay now there will be some students who have done the some uh, some part of the syllabus some of you might have done the whole syllabus by now some of you might have not started for it so i'm going to tell you for all those students those who have not even started even they can follow this strategy so remember time and tide wait for none they never stops they always flow right they always keep moving forward so always remember this thing beta that this 60 days time which is there so you can clearly see that danger button is now exploding about to explode so don't be nervous of it but do one thing but always remember that be becoming afraid of this examination and not able to do anything only thinking about this exam taking tension of it is not going to help you it is not going to help you at all the only thing which will help you is study if you'll start studying do some work on your own solve the questions that is only going to help you so for 60 days what will be our strategy so first thing we need to understand the concepts and do the practice the second thing will be solving the sample papers okay so first part first let's go for this understanding the concept part now many of you will be asking sir can it be done yes it can be done there is never never there is not a single thing in this world which cannot be achieved with hard work and perseverance got it so i want you all to remember this thing that hard work is your key to success yaad rakhna remember this thing hard work is your key to success so you need to work hard focus smartly you need to prepare for this examination it is not a very hi fi exam not a very um, uh what do i say that a technical exam or not a exam where the merit is required it's only the thing is that the more you'll study the more marks you are going to get and the more you are making your parents proud and your teachers proud your school proud everything depends on you right so the strategy we are going to start with is this so before i start the strategy let me tell you all one thing that foundation plus course uh for any nse js and rmo courses have started you can register for that using this link tiny url dot com slash foundation uh, dash plus okay so this is the part from 21st December to 31st January Monday to Saturday the classes will be there got it so you can just go to the link and register for RMO or NSCJS okay now coming to the 60 60 days uh, strategy plan so earlier if you remember we have done the five month video so now we'll shrink it to two months part so what we need to do is there are total 15 chapters in your maths right and number of days left are 60. so what we are going to do understanding the concept and practicing those questions we are going to take 45 days out of it these 45 days like out of these 60 days these 45 days are not only for maths okay i am telling you to just take 3 to 4 hours and i'll tell you for each day how much time you can take depending on that you can strategize your other subjects as well with the same methodology as well 
okay so the first thing and the remaining 15 days what you are going to do you are going to solve some sample papers okay so first thing first how do i divide by see there are 45 days for 15 chapters so i can clearly see sir then i have three days per chapter if i have 45 days for 15 chapter then we have three days per chapter so these three days for every chapter, we are going to make it like this. Day 1, Day 2, Day 3. Day 1, you will be focusing on your concept. Day 2, you will be practicing problems. Day 3 will be future practice, further practice and self-study material, preparing your self-study material for revision. So, it this, this Day 3, Day 1 is going to take some time. Say, let's say 3 hours. 3 hours you need to dedicate according to the chapter. If the chapter is very lengthy, then three hours if the chapter is small then you can do it in one to three hours okay so i would say let's say one to three hours day two is be will be time consuming so let's make it four to five hours so when in the day one when you have only one or three hours for mess you can take any other subject as well and day three again will take only one to two hours okay so here also you can study some other subject as well and in day two while practicing problem you are already dedicating your four to five hours to maths so in that case you can take some easy topic easy subject and then study that part so two or three subjects every day you can finish every chapter from that subject so if you you can easily finish three chapters okay you can easily finish three chapters from three uh, different subjects so one chapter per subject one chapter select one chapter from maths one chapter from science one chapter from sst this can be covered okay and uh, this part will be taking suppose for maths i'm taking three days all the chapters are like uh, depending you know, for social studies uh, one chapter can be completed in one days for science it will take two days maths is a bit lengthy so that is why i'm taking giving you more time to solve this part right so day one is what first thing you will go through go through your textbook you will go through the whole concepts okay for if you are guessing any doubts over there you can refer to omang series videos you can refer to one shot videos watch those so you are just doing the preparation solve the questions which we have done in omang series solve the questions which we have done in the one shot videos quickly go through quickly go through it and if you are good with the concept directly go to the question part if you're not good with the concept start with the the watch the whole video when the question comes start solving that question with me solve that if you are done see whether the answer is correct or not so day one is going to be like that you are covering your basics you are completing the chapter with the help of the videos with the help of your textbooks day two will be textbook problems whatever textbook problems are there solve all of them one by one no need to solve each and every problem if two or three problems are of the similar type solve any one problem of that type and move ahead so solve different types of problems which are there in your textbook okay you can also refer to any other textbook as well if there is a uh, if there is a topic suppose surface area and volume it requires much time for calculation so don't use calculator over there because in exam you will not be having calculator got it so start doing calculation also so that you will be feeling more comfortable with the calculations as well also previous year paper questions also you can refer them as well this will also exam uh, this will also going to help you a lot so second day is the most hectic day the last day the third day will be for your own self study material this is the smallest day it's been bahut kam time like the time consumed in the third day will be very less just prepare important questions you can mark the important questions where you made mistake you can solve them once again just mark the important questions which you need to do when you will be doing the final revision before exams uh, just prepare a notes of the formulas on your own for your own understanding so this will help you before the night before examination okay so this is the three day strategy first day understanding concept and watching the videos wherever you are facing difficulty second day solving all the problems most hectic day four to five hours it will take and the third day will be preparing your own study material okay now up suppose if you are completing a chapter in two days suppose ratio and proportion is a very easy topic can be completed in two days gst also again is a very easy topic can be completed in one days so better it is good thing right you are saving your time got it so if you are moving ahead of time if you are doing it good that means you will get more confidence geometry will take some time suppose instead of three days it took four days so what you have already managed the time over there so i'm just giving you this on an average okay average on on an average i'm talking about then the remaining 15 days once you have completed the whole syllabus by the strategy which i have given to you then 15 days are left now what you need to do 
In this 15 days, I am saying ki at least solve 10 to 12 sample papers. Sample papers, you can refer to any book you want, any book which is available to you, any book. No need to go for ki, sir, do I need this publication is good or shall I go for this publication? Anything which is available, go for the sample papers, any book. Okay, you can also solve previous year sample papers, but there is an art to solve sample papers. What you need to do is you need to sit. Suppose the exam is for three hours. So if you set at nine o'clock in the morning, start nine o'clock till 12 o'clock between nine to 12, you will not take any break. You are going to solve that paper as your real examination. Just the way you will be giving your real examination, real board examination. That way you need to solve your sample paper. What will be the benefit out of it? The first benefit is your time management. You will be able to see whether you are able to finish the whole paper in three hours or not, where you are lacking time. Also, you'll get to know, ki, suppose if you are stuck in a question, you will develop this habit that, okay, let's me, let me leave this question because I have already wasted some time. I will do this question at the end. Let me go to the next question. So all these habits will develop. So what happen will what will happen in the exam? Suppose if you the first question which you are starting, if that is difficult, you will not uh, you will not waste your 15 or 20 minutes to solve that question. Instead, you will move ahead and you will say, okay, I'll solve that question later. Got it? So this practice will be very important if you will solve some sample papers. So that is I'm telling you, at least solve 10 to 12 sample papers for mathematics to develop the time management to develop your uh, real time solving pro uh, uh, real time solving problem uh, skills like how good you are solving the problems your silly mistakes also you'll be able to find it out so once 9 to 12 you have given the exam okay take 15 minutes break in the next 15 to 15 minutes check the whole paper check the whole paper give yourself mark if the answer is correct give full marks if answer is not correct even if a silly mistake is there cut the whole part be harsh to yourself be rude to yourself Make it go like if it is perfect, it is perfect or nothing. Make it like that. Don't give any step marking to you. Just do this. Okay. If it is wrong, don't give any step marking. Cross the whole question. So it will make you feel like then only you will start avoiding the silly mistakes. Got it? So this is how you need to attempt the sample paper. Attempt it like real examination. Solve it. After the time is over, check the paper. Count your marks. See where you have made the difficult, see where you have made the mistake. If you are facing the difficulty in the concept, go to that question, go to that uh, your sample notes which you have made for that chapter. Go through those notes, see whether you have made the mistake in the formula, you have made the mistake in the calculation. If there is any, any problem with the concept, you have already marked the questions in your books or you know the videos, you have already watched the videos, watch the videos where same kind of question is there, done the part. So after giving three hours for that paper, it will take one more hour for checking it and going through your mistakes. That one hour is very important. That one hour is very important. This will, uh, will, will be like evaluating yourself and this strategy for solving sample paper, you can adopt for all the subjects. Okay. For science, for SST, all the subjects, you can adopt this part. Got it. So this is how you are going to give your sample paper. Got it, beta? So this will be our strategy. Follow this. Tell me, let me know in the comment section whether you like this strategy or not. And if you are following this strategy, just let me know what are your results. How are you expecting? Let me know after one week, follow the strategy. How are you feeling, feeling about it? Let me know also in the comment section. Now the quote for today is success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will come. So it's all about consistency. If you will be consistent for the coming 60 days, the success will be yours. Got it? Consistent hard work leads to success. Remember this thing. So consistency matters a lot. So for the 60 days, be very consistent. Do the best. Give your 100% right now because the exams will be in your control if you will be consistent right now. Okay, beta. Also, uh, during this time from 20th December to 27th December, uh, there is a 50 percentage off in the Vedantus Pro subscription courses. So you can use the code GPE Pro. The price after the discount will be this for one month. This will be for three months. If you want, you can register for Vedantus Pro subscription if you need some extra help. Okay, beta. So this is all from my side. Thank you so much. Remember the link is in the description box as well as it is in the pinned comment section. The coupon code is GPE Pro. 
I hope all of you liked this video. Please share the video with your friends who are also feeling like what to do for the next two months. Like this video, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Kudafis to all of you. Bye-bye.